This is a quick introduction to Live's green and yellow lists. These are important reference lists for vineyards in the Live program. Page 1 is an index of vineyard pests and diseases. There are a couple things to note here. The rain cloud icon indicates where something is considered a key pest for Region 1, which has a cooler, wetter growing season. And the sun icon indicates where something is considered a key pest for Region 2, which has a warmer, drier growing season. A more detailed explanation of the regions is on the left-hand side of the page. If you are dealing with a pest that's not listed for your region, or not on this list at all, contact LIVE for assistance. The circles are links to other pages in the document. Green circles will take you to the green list entry for the pest or disease, and yellow circles will take you to the yellow list entry. Let's use Botrytis as an example. I can see from the index that it's a key pest in both regions 1 and 2. Clicking on the green circle takes me to an entry with background information on the pest or disease. There's also a chart that has cultural and biological control measures, monitoring guidelines, and general restrictions on chemical controls. The specific details on chemical controls are going to be found in the yellow list. So if the green list's non-chemical controls aren't adequate for managing botrytis in my vineyard, I can go to the yellow list entry. Links to the yellow list entry for the pest or disease can be found back at page one in the index or at the beginning of the green list entry, as you can see here. This also works in the reverse direction. If you're at a yellow list entry, there's a link to the applicable green list practices so you can bounce back and forth as needed. In the yellow list, you'll see some important information about permitted chemical controls for the pest or disease. This doesn't ever replace information on the pesticide label. Each chemical control is listed by active ingredient, and trade names are provided only for convenience. There may be specific restrictions for the control, so please read those. We list the re-entry interval and pre-harvest interval and mode of action code. This mode of action code is important for resistance management, and LIVE requires it as part of the farm's pesticide application records where a code is assigned. There's a lot of detail on the lists, and we hope this video is helpful in understanding how they are organized and how you can use them to support your vineyard's compliance with LIVE standards.